guys welcome back to the algs channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far we've got some great information in today's video regarding algs year four upcoming and also we've got some news with the scrim results being determined and then also do you know disguise what's going on with that organization as well then even some potential land locations that we can look into coming in the next year so if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends esports related you know what to do like the video subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this first thing i wanted to make mention yesterday i did post and obviously you know i really don't like twitter sometimes because sometimes i just want to post my thoughts to like you know a group of friends and i just want oh this is cool whatever when things start to go viral you get a lot of hate people start doubting whatever and so yesterday i did put out at the end of the day i mean i am a news outlet i understand like it's bound to happen whatever i'm not really hating on it but anyways i did post yesterday i want to kind of clear some things uh, i posted yesterday i'm gonna be honest i just heard some ridiculously good news this morning on the future of apex esports and i swear on my grandmother's grave this is not impression baiting that that was probably a little too far i probably shouldn't have said that this is going to be huge though put your stock in apex things are going to get better stay tuned i will just go ahead and clarify this, this is not an in-game related stuff i saw all kind of people like you know mixtape ranked and stuff like that this is talking about algs okay you know get out of the whole old j miles you know apex news stuff that's on the j miles channel this is the algs news channel and the twitter is more algs related i'm just saying that apex is going to be great things are going to be changing soon and i'm very excited about this and i can't wait for it to come it's going to be big 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 yes and i'm very excited for it so yeah let's just go ahead and move past that for now want to make mention i don't know why i didn't notice this yesterday whenever dno had basically announced their drop spots coming up for uh you know olympus they are no longer uh representing dsg anymore which i don't know why i did not uh pick up on that but obviously it's no surprise NRG and stuff has been leaving and a lot of orgs are i've been seeing all the jokes about the skies being broke they ain't got no money and all of this stuff so i guess it's no big surprise a lot of teams like to you know temporary sign teams going into champs as well so uh you know i guess it is expected but dsg was making a little bit of a change in a reddit post earlier by m winely saying i know people have asked a couple of times but anyone know why dsg is dropping and changing or changing their roster with them screaming as dno again and synox and duplex not having dsg in their twitter bio i don't really remember if they had that initially but basically what's going on and people did confirm that it seems like that roster was only signed for champs which is a very typical thing to do for a lot of organizations they just want to get their name out there they just want to get their you know team name known about they'll just sign a little roster that barely made it through it's a lot of times it'll be you know your lcq rosters that's when it's most common but anyways you know just thought i'd mention that that's the update on dno also wanted to mention apex year four algs potential land locations this one was a banger and honestly it got me excited but unfortunately i will say this is one of those things you got to take with a grain of salt this was coming from the apex global series.com website basically we did get two different sets of information dumps here number one and you can take it for what you will nice wig was caught in a uh, you know podcast hunter thieves not caught that sounds bad nice wig got caught right in it no he was basically doing a podcast with hunter thieves it's like a boomer versus zoomer kind of thing and there was a clip about him speaking about japan and going there for two times next year for undisclosed reasons and of course a lot of people looked into that nice wig doing the b stream surely one of the uh you know algs year four uh events have got to be in japan especially after the fans have been asking for it for quite some time so here's the clip itself you can let me know what you think roll the clip i'm excited to go to japan i'm going have you been no never dude you're gonna love it it's like twice next year for some stuff i can't talk about but bro it is so obviously i mean you know i can't talk about it you know why couldn't you talk about it nice wig obviously people are just looking into this for one specific reason being that he's the face of algs b stream and a lot of the uh you know watch parties and such that was where everybody immediately went to but there was also a reddit thread that basically said that now you know you got to take it like a grain of salt once again nasky's coming out to say this and even nasky said you know you never know if you can trust my sources or not but Nasky did suggest that maybe it was Paris, Tokyo, and a North American city land. That's just what he said he heard. So these are potential uh, spots. These are obviously just rumored, but I think it would be a really good thing to see, and I would love to see. I, I think overall, despite your opinion, you have to agree that Tokyo would be by far the best place to not only just hold a land, but let's just be honest, even as a North American fan, of course, I would love to see champs here tokyo needs to host champs that's just as simple as it gets i mean tokyo needs the champs event 
that's the probable best city in the entire game for apex legends i mean tokyo is just absolutely lit so i would love to see it but obviously we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, I, I i mean honestly it wouldn't take a rocket scientist to guess that a north american land is coming back anyways so of course like i said let me know what you guys think down below also want to mention minus tempo did post the scrim results i literally just got done watching them in nice week stream earlier today and this was basically uh, a little bit of a different side from yesterday because there were some updated teams in this as well now dojo obviously still doing good lobby a looking strong oxygen esports though winning it overall on the night but you do see a little bit of a change e8 is now in the bottom in 13th place unfortunately yesterday they were obviously playing with imperial how how and evan have been basically filling in for a lot of these rosters as well helping them out it's also worth noting that this team one right here is actually one two three for second place that is actually bullet imperial how and guild now guild is actually playing with bullet it seems like and alcivian was sick and that's why how came in to step in and sub because that's what him and evan have been doing but this would be a pretty good roster oz bullet and also guild on the same team could cook up something nice but of course how is no joke obviously you know it's not just an easy replacement so we'll see how this roster continues to do if they continue to scrim together and if oz comes back now one thing to also know is that a lot of these rosters are a little bit weird because they've been splitting up they've been changing some things a lot of rosters have been trialing some teams so you might see one team playing with these guys in scrims and then the next day they're playing with a new group of guys or the next week it's a total new team as well don't forget this is like mega trial and error period right here so a lot of things Things are going to be changing and maybe even sometimes you know we make some mistakes on some of these rosters and who are currently playing and then in this e8 did not finish in first but how was no longer playing with e8 because chaotic came back and inside a lot of the you know the videos and the comms we were watching with nice week and stuff you can see a lot of frustrations and hear a lot of frustrations with that e8 roster and man i really love e8 i love all the boys on e8 i really hope they can figure it out but things have got to take a turn very very soon unfortunate night for furia as well furia obviously brand new staff over there brand new coach you know just coming out of the lcq in third place last year they're gonna need a brand new like a you know dynamic going into this and olympus obviously is changing the weight a little bit as well so we'll see how they adapt also but so far i really like oxygen man these guys have been a real test of time they've been super super consistent and so has dojo now dojo has been playing with evan of course enemy if you guys were not aware from last video just recently had open heart surgery make sure to go show him your love or emergency heart surgery make sure to go show him your love and we hope to see him back pretty soon as well so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about the potential land locations that seem to be happening for algs year four of course they're all just simply rumored also scrim results which teams look strong to you which teams are the weak links and we'll keep you all updated with algs news as it uncovers right here on the channel make sure to like comment and subscribe and until the next time we'll see you all later gators